Hi guys, this is Pastilli and welcome to another Skate from Tarkov video. Today we are launching the Hardcore Challenge. Uh, this is going to be Season 5. Um, there's been different seasons I've made in different lengths with different like length episodes and stuff since, you know, pretty much I think the first one was back in like 0.9 or 0.8. It's a long time ago when I first started the Hardcore Challenge, which is introduced by Deadly Slob, an amazing creator. If you haven't gone and checked out his content uh, either on YouTube or Twitch, He's a really lovely guy and definitely worth um, the love and respect that, that you guys can all give. Um, so yeah, he made up these rule set a long time ago and it's slowly developed over time. And it's just one of those things after a wipe, say one or two months into a wipe, I start playing the hardcore challenge and today we're, we're kicking it off. If you know the rules and you've you've seen me on stream, you know what's going on, um, I'll put a timestamp uh, down below that you can just go straight to it if you want to skip the rules. But right now I'm going to go cover the rules. And then after that, uh, we'll get into the first episode. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So first up for season five of the Hardcore Challenge, the objective. Um, this one, I actually do have a plan that I'm going to play either a few hours each day, depending on how I feel. Uh, I really want to be in a good mood for when I start Hardcore because it is very brutal. And then also um, some days I'll just play for a whole stream and we'll see how we get on from that. But the objective for the Hardcore Challenge is to try and get to the Kappa container. It's going to be very difficult. There's going to be a lot of sticking points, particularly when it comes to keys. Um, I've got different ideas in place that I'm going to try throughout the, uh, the season and see how I go. But this is going to go for a fair period of time. So uh, before I go specifically into the rules, the release schedule on how these episodes are going out, I haven't entirely decided yet. I don't know if it's going to be one episode a day. I don't know if it's going to be, you know, three episodes a week. I've got to figure it out. What I'm going to do first, though, is I'm probably going to get 10 or 15 episodes up my uh, up my sleeve uh, before I start releasing them, and then uh, we'll go from there. But I'm going to I'm going to have a sit down with the editors and we'll see how we go. But if you are watching on the uh, on the YouTube, all the uh, the loading screens will be cut out just to make it as optimized for the viewing experience for you guys. And you can sit back and have some uh, solid talk of enjoyment in the background learn some new loot spots and uh see me get smashed every day so uh let's get into the rules number one rule you cannot purchase equipment from dealers and market with the money so you can't just go to the traders and start buying up stuff or the flea market and buying up stuff to uh just do your loadouts that is not allowed at all you must get your loadouts from inside the raid so you, when the very first raid you go in you are completely naked with just an alpha container all right, and you go in and you have to start getting that loot to get you through all the uh, all the levels and the, and the quests. Rule number two, you are allowed to barter for equipment. So this is only on the traders. So if there is a barter trade, a one would be say white tape from therapist. You have two white tape, barter trades for a car med kit. So you're allowed to do all the types of barter trades. No flea market. So it's pretty much straightforward. Goes with number one, you cannot buy anything from the flea market or sell anything on the flea market at all. Number four, secure containers is for keys only. So you can put your docs case in there, key tools, uh, sick cases are allowed in the container to hold the keys. Um, and if you find them, you can put them straight in there. Labs key cards can go straight in there. We, uh, I think in the past, I've held on to them. But, uh, we're going to put them straight in there as well for this one, uh, mostly because I need to go labs to get a few quest items and I'm not going to have many opportunities to do it. And if I just didn't even get the card, it just ruins from the experience of us having the opportunity that we can go check out a labs raid. So um, that will go into the container. The other thing that a secure con container can be used for, so say I have nothing in my pockets. Uh, oh, sorry, I have, there's like a Salewa and I see a Salewa on the ground. I can pick up that Salewa and put it into my secure container to heal. But then I, before I'm allowed to move, I need to drop the Salewa again. And that's the same with like, say, I pick up a mag or I, I unload a mag from a gun and I have nowhere to put it. I can put it in my container, but I have to like finish reloading that magazine and put it back onto my gun before I move. So it's kind of like replicating something being in your hands. Um, but I do try to avoid doing that at all costs. But sometimes, say with meds, that's kind of has to happen. Five mission specific items can be bought using the cash stack. So uh, an item like that would be the, the markers for BP depot or the Wi-Fi cameras, um, the jammers for on shoreline, all those items that you can really only get from traders. There are spots in the raid you can find with the rare. Um, but yeah, those can be bought from the traders because just because it, they're, they're needed for quests and it really does hold progression if you have to try and find them in raid when you've got like a one in a thousand chance of being able to find one. Six, no scav runs, none at all. It's a very straightforward rule. Seven, only play with other hardcore players. So if another person's doing a hardcore series, say Deadly Slob, uh, if I wanted to, I could do duos with him. In the past, I haven't really done much of this. 
I think one of the seasons I actually started with doing duos with Deadly Slob and it was a lot of fun. Um, but I generally play solo anyway. So if I do want to do duos on this account, it needs to be with someone else with a hardcore player. Uh, and this is more if you guys want to use the rule set too and you want to play with your mates that are doing hardcore. I no assistance from friends or communities. I can't just get a player or a friend just come to a raid and drop me a heap of quest items that I need or or something like that. That's not allowed. You can't have an, random people opening up doors for you. It's just like if, if a random person I, I make friends with in raid and it's a natural occurrence for some reason, it doesn't happen often, um, that is allowed. But if it looks like a deliberate stream sniper or something like that, it won't it won't fly i won't hand like i just i'll just kill them or just i'll leave it's, just, it's the kind of thing i don't like i don't like breaking the rules i just want to enjoy and and embrace the challenge nine you're allowed to heal from therapist post raid upon death so if i survive a raid i've got to use my meds like normal if i die i can use the therapist heal uh this is to kind of stop that whole there, there was a period in the last season where it was just like going to a raid over and over death again with no health and I couldn't heal. I had to like literally just go into reserve, sprint to the med spots, try and get some meds so I could even progress at all. Uh, and it kind of detracted from the enjoyment. Uh, it is a tough challenge anyway, um, but when you die in this game, it's really brutal now that you have to heal. And the fact that in the hardcore challenge, you would consume all your meds. I used to have to spend hours just con collecting meds up. So if I had three or four deaths in a row, I could heal back up. So it's to try and just make it so the game kind of runs more smooth in the progression and not just you know, running for med simulator. 10, you can craft in the hideout. Now I do use the hideout a fair bit. It's a great way to get quest items. It's a great way to, um, you know, have all those extra assistances from from the hideout, say regenerating your stam and your health and, or your health and your uh, your energy and hydration that while you're doing stash sorting and all that other stuff. I do try and get the hideout upgraded a fair bit, um, but it does take a quite a while to do that and uh, we'll try my best to get that done. 11 items required for hideout must be either crafted in the hideout or acquired in a raid. So it just it's just reiterating that you can't use the flea market to buy items for, for the hideout. Uh, it has to be stuff you find in a raid and take out of it or craft in the hideout already. 12 in raid task money uh, can be used in the global cash stack. Now I'll explain the global cash stack at the end, but in short, it's pretty much that you're allowed to hold on to the money that you find um, or that you uh, from the items that you sell just because there's certain things that need cash and it, it, it does really it enhances the actual hardcore experience and you'll see why in a minute 13 money obtained from leveling dealer reputation will no longer be deleted it'll be stored and added to the global cash stack to be used with uh for hideout upgrades that require money you can e exchange rubles us dollars euros however you see fit but you cannot use the money to purchase items from the flea market um to upgrade your hideout so this is just going back to that whole if you get re receive items from quests the cash can be added to your global cash stack and um that is literally to do what i'm about to talk about um and i'll go over the next rule first which is 14 uh insurance is not allowed you can't use the cash to to get insurance and then get items back that way but moving into the global cash stack explanation given the changes with money uh sorry Given changes with the money storage in containers, because in the past we used to store it inside our container, uh, it is far more simplistic and fair to have money obtained from Reputation Farm in raid and, ta and task be combined for the clothing upgrades, hideout upgrades, and the armor repairs. So if I find an armor in raid, I can repair it. I can buy any of the different kind of clothing outfits that I want and use that money to upgrade uh, stuff inside the hideout. So for example, the stash. So I do this on a standard account. Uh, to upgrade my stash, it does take quite a while and uh, I've got to save up a lot of money for it. So it's important that um, I use this global cash stack collection to uh, to do that. And it's really difficult to get armors in the uh, hardcore challenge as well. And so this really does help with that too. So that is pretty much everything to be covered for this uh, hardcore challenge. Um, like I said, if, you, if you're enjoying it, there'll be a playlist and the episodes will come out consistently. I'll try and make whatever format that I do decide to do. It might be every second day. Um, they'll be consistently out every second day and the way it works is it's a two hour recording i delete out all the loading screens for you guys we have a cool new intro we're about to show you and um yeah and there'll be a previously in the hardcore series at the start just like in the last season just to try and enhance it for you guys and the the viewing experience uh, we do like to hear any feedback so if you don't like something or you do like something we'll try our best to add it but it is very time consuming to do all the content that we do post on our channel so um just understand that 
we try to we try to please the masses as much as possible anyway guys for the second time in this intro welcome to season five of the hardcore series and without further ado let's crack straight into it welcome if you got if this is your first hardcore challenge i can turn the music up a little bit too if this is your first hardcore challenge um it's very brutal expect me to die a lot all right a lot like i try and like i feel like the snowball challenge increased my skill set for, for hardcore a lot and made it a lot better for um for uh it made me a lot more prepared, I guess would be the word. The um, But it is a very brutal challenge and it is very punishing. You do die a lot doing this, um, particularly early on. I am going to put emphasis on trying to make sure I survive as much as possible. There is going to be a lot of moments where you're just like, he's just dying over and over and over again. But um, with the addition to some of the crafts that have been happening and... and and that I feel like I can progress progress a lot faster this time. The previous time we had a lot of issues with trying to get um, the hideout upgraded, and the objective was to finish the hideout, and I was just not enjoying it. Um, I was just running Ledexes for Ledexes over and over again. That's not really going to be a, an issue anymore. But getting the quest done is going to be the uh, objective. The aim is to get to the Kappa container. Um, how long this will take, I don't know. If you're watching this on the YouTube, um, the aim will be I'll have two hour recordings. And all the loading screens will be cut out. There'll be like the intro and then the previous episode of the hardcore series. Um, and we'll prop, I don't know exactly the publishing schedule, but it'll be nearly every day. Um, so if you guys are watching on YouTube, or if you're missing, you're watching on the stream right now and you miss some, you can watch it on YouTube uh, without any of the uh, loading in screens. So we'll save you a lot of time and when you just want to watch uh, for that. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. It's going to be, it's going to be rough. Um, I'll add, I'll add hardcore to the title. If you're after the rules, I'll be in the description in the in down below. Otherwise, exclamation mark hardcore on Twitch. And if you want to watch this in lifetime, come check it out on Twitch. So without further ado, let's crack straight into it. English is our choice language. This account was called App Aqua FPS TV. What are we calling it? What are we calling it? Hard cultist. We've been going with the theme of cultist. Deadly the cultist. I don't know if that'll be long. Uh, Deadly the cultist. I don't know if that'll fit. It won't fit. It won't fit. Deadly cultist. <laughs> All right. We'll call it deadly cultist. They're the cultists. I like that name. Sounds good. Let's go. Now, as per every other one, we've done bear. I think we're going to have to go the default because which one's the, the, um, we've always done hardcore challenge on bear. All right. So, um, I'm worried about the voice lines and the breathing. So do we just go default on the, on the voice? Can't hear him. Hmm. You can just go USAC. Three slash three isn't breathing. Everyone's saying to go USAC. You, bear three is no breathing. All right, so Sergi. Yeah, I'm I'm bear two on the on the, the rain series. I have to be bear for hardcore. How do we want to look? <laughs> I want to I want to look like this dude. It's just a guy trying to get by, you know, in the, in a hardcore world. I think we'll go this one. Do you reckon bear three is the voice to go? Which one? One, two, or three? Chat, quick. Everyone's 
Everyone's saying three. All right. Mr. Volkov, Sergi. Just in time for HC. All right, so this is going to be interesting. First thing I do is delete everything in my uh, in my stash. Um, this has changed actually. Too moist. Haven't played Tarkov since some time before last wipe, but I can't stop watching. The one thing I am going to do, and it's more of a just in case, is I'm going to hold on to the cash on the until I survive one raid. Only because if I two, die... Two, 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 Hang on two. one second. Watching out field at Shoalwater, love your work pest. All right, we'd have to hear that guy for an hour. Um, if we die on the first raid, we, um, we don't have to just sit around for 10 minutes. That would just be lame. So, I'll hold the, I'll hold the cash there, but if I survive the raid, I'll delete the cash. All right. First, like, 15 heals are free. Oh, really? They, they did do that, didn't they? I'll leave it there just in case. Just in case. All right. Purely just in case. But like I said, I'll delete it anyway. I'll delete it. If we survive the raid, I'll just delete it anyway. Um, just because I, I don't trust. Um, I don't trust BSG. Delete the container. No, oh. you don't have to delete the container. You start with an alpha. All right. This is really, really punishing at the start. I Two have done months. it on... I have done it on... Um, Edge of Darkness in the past a lot because of the how hard it is to get the stash going. Um, because you just fill the stash up instantly and you can't get a, a single gun going. But we'll see how we go. Now, for the map choice. First raid, map. Deadly loves the woods. Deadly loves the woods. I'm leaning towards shoreline. I'm leaning towards shoreline. Um, because there's so many hidden stashes. There's 35 hidden stashes that shoreline could work really well. Um, but Woods also has a lot of hidden stashes now. My fear of Woods is I get in there and I go and do the stashes and I, and, uh, I can't find a gun and then sca a scav just starts running at me from the middle of nowhere, but it's going to be Woods or Shoreline first. Um, let's see. Let's see. I know Reserve has lots of weapons, but it ca it's really rough if you don't get one. Let's, let's do Shoreline. Let's do Shoreline. We're going to get weapons. We're going to go hidden stashes first. That's the objective. Hidden stashes, then I'll try for scavs. We're all here on Pestily Death Watch. Yeah. Could be a few deaths. Right now, the dream would be to just go hit out the uh, all the jackets and stuff, but I feel like it'd probably. It'll probably not work to our favor. There is no, there's no breathing. Oh my god! On the, uh, on the, the bear two voice. This is, we would be puffing right now. We'd be puffing. Pestily salute. Bear three is OP. Confirmed. I'm worried about a player being in here. But jackets early on. We get a good key. We can get a pistol from a duffel bag. Look how fast you loot when you don't have a weapon or a melee. If meds. I feel like my game sounds just a, down a touch. Moist. M M M moist. Mm. 
Boy. Austin, quick. Go, 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 go. Thoughts on adding the PP bison to Tarkov? Come on, give us case. We want case. What's the caliber of the bison? Nine mil? Moy. So how aggressive are you going on other PMCS? Yes. I won't be. I won't be aggressive at all. Alright, let's do the hidden stashes real quick. Nine by nineteen, nine by eighteen. Hopefully your first oh, round we need that. eighty-four round macro of smiley. <laughs> Here's a pistol. Alright, let's go back to it. There's another hidden stash over here. Jackets. Looks like everyone's headed up to a resort, which is nice. Love your work, mate. Well, at least our search skill will go up nice and quick. Here we go. Here we go. What? We got a rig. Moving up in the world. <laughs> Hi guys. Welcome to my stream. And without further ado, let's crack straight into it. Jardio, thanks so much for the host. How was the stream? Hope really good. GDS key, good key for customs. Oh, we could go back for that gas analyzer. True. Where was it? It was a hidden stash, wasn't it? Turkey door. Dumps the stash. right out. Turkey door. Us moving up in the world. TP for lavatory. Boy. Right, if we can get back through here without dying, I'm gonna be really happy. What's gonna happen is I reckon the scads will start spawning in now. Just so you guys know as well, you can put items into your container. Say I had no rig on and I need to move stuff around or load a magazine and stuff. You are, it's like the container works as if you had it in your hand, but you can't like run around with it. If you put an item in your container and start running around, then you have to drop it. It's just straight up drop it. Oh, I just heard something. Maybe it was the bag closing or something. Did you, guys, did you guys hear that? Like there was like a... A few nopers. What? Oh, I heard a little faint bit of shooting in the background. Yes. Oh. Fucking. We're, we're on. S tier gun. S tier gun, baby. Let's go. Fucking go. I 
an ethical. <laughs> we need gunsmith part 11 done. We need gunsmith part 11 done. Like, that has to be an early objective for us now. What have we got? Armor? Armor? Yeah, baby! We're going to need relays early on too. What's the first thing to get the generator? It's the spark plug, isn't it? Do you hear that? It sounds like someone shooting in this way. Get in here. What do we got? Just tape. We don't need that. Chat, you can backseat the shit out of me when it comes to barter trades, all right? Because I'm not going to remember all the barter trades and crafts. Obviously, I don't have the, the, the hideout upgraded yet. So some of the crafts are just not going to be viable early on. But once I do upgrade the hideout, feel free to like backseat me a little bit with the uh, crafts that I might be missing and stuff. But obviously we're still very early days with the cup with crafts and stuff. So the scissors aren't any use to us. Like I'd literally just be vendoring them. There's no early uh, crafts or all that with the scissors, and I don't have stash space. If they vended for a lot more, then it'd be more tempting. And I can't fit the propane, by the way, guys. Bit of BT ammo. Can't complain. Juice. Now, food is a real struggle early on, too. I end up having to do a lot of reserve runs, generally, because of the food shortages. Pretty much just want to go for the extract already. I'm relieved it's freaking you out. It's actually freaking me out. It really makes you like care about survival. Hardcore challenge. Oh, it's just there. I want to get over that wall. That made me run around. It's rude. Turkey gate. <laughs> Yeah. Trash route? Is it better taking the trash route? I think it vendors some more. I want to drink the hydration, but it's too early. What can I take instead of the duct tape? And ammo? All right, that's going. I know it vendors for more, but. That shot behind me just got me scared. Deep that's garbage. There's no barter trace for it. Moy. Looks like this key, but key will set the tone of this hardcore series <sighs> as it was WTH reserve keys. Yeah, but we need the other key, key. To be honest, going interchange, hiding or like playing it really slow and cautiously around interchange and then going for the key bar late would actually be um, a solid tactic.
Helmet? Yes! Alright, meds, meds, meds. Uh, let's get rid of... <sighs> the lamp barter trades for a grenade. I know that sounds ridiculous that I want to save it for a grenade, but... You are the first streamer I've ever subbed to. Just wanted to say that. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the uh, two months half read. All right, all right. Another hidden stash out of here. Drink the juice when I get to 30 hydration or 30 under max. It gives it gives thirty. Diary don't need. It does vendor nicely. All right now we can do it. We got this scav or a play there. Play a scav with pilgrim. See that? Where did he go? in the water I don't reckon this is the pilgrim guy Not. Alright, we need to find the pilgrim. It might have been a player scav. No, no. The, the, the pilgrim guy was running left to right. We're calling the tears of guns. This was an F gun. F tier. Imagine using an F tier gun instead of the S tier. So I'll switch the S tier gun, but I don't have a lot of ammo for it. So if I see a player, I'll, I'll use this gun. If I see a scav, I'll use the, uh, I'll use this one. Have you guys ever heard dogs barking in Tarkov? Legit question. Less than three is appreciate all the work you put into the Tarkov content, bro. It's not it's not my here, is it? Is a voice line talking? You mean? It might be up at this hidden stash. Here it is. Hear it? Dogs confirmed for Tarkov. Oh, 
Um, hidden stash. It's in one of these bushes. Yep. Well, someone's been here. Well, one man's junk, another man's treasure. PS hammer could be useful. Pilgrim scab could have been looting all the backpacks along the way. They're all the stashes along the way. Extract is not up. I repeat, extract is not up. Oh, melee weapon. Uh, no, we don't need that. Ooh, I want that. <laughs> ST weapon on scav. I didn't have much time, mate. <laughs> All right. Sometimes. You just gotta, you just gotta do what's quicker. Got the beanie. I don't need them. The main reason I was holding on to those beanies is, um, it's actually quite difficult to level up Ragman early on. Um, cause you can't buy anything and uh, you're, you're only allowed to sell, right? So it actually, you need a lot to sell to Thera, uh, to Ragman to get his money spent. And it's all like rigs and stuff. Oh yeah, I should have done this. The, the three masters for a, a packer. I should have kept that. That's why they're like the streamer items are going to be really handy. Why no buying from traders? Ah, uh, it's part of the hardcore challenge. I suppose my hardcore if you want to make more. All right, someone's already been here, but one man's trash and another man's treasure. There's actually two weapon crates and an AK spawn up in that building too. They had all the shots at resort. There was a few at the villages behind us. Village behind us when we were over, over at the swamp. But we really don't want to get overly involved in any fights right now. Like if we can get out of this raid, then we have um, three guns. And that's a big... Big step up from no guns and no melee weapon. And an ST gun, yeah. Two F tiers and an S tier. For anyone who's like listening on the YouTube and they're wondering what I'm talking about with all the tiers, we just made a video of um I made a tier list of all the guns. Uh, and if you're watching on the stream, um I just the video will be out probably tomorrow. 
So in about 36 hours time. The video of uh, S tier to F tier of all the guns in Escape from Tarkov. Now there are more hidden stashes, but right now I think we've 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 got our fair share. There's one up ahead that we'll get because it's literally on our path, but the rest of it, I think we should just try to avoid any more risk. Son, you are a goat. Thanks, dude. When I first raid down, oh, that's a big win. That's a big win. Kiba key. Kiba key. <gasps> no way. Good luck with a hardcore challenge, Pestily Salute. What is this? What is this error? Has anyone had this error before? The suspense. It's brutal. Oh, thank God. All right, we're deleting this cache now because we survived the raid anyway. Two years. Um, I made it par. Cool. Wow. That's massive. Let's <laughs> get the shit out of me. Let's get the shit out of me. Quest item. What does your shirt say? Playtime is fucking over. All right, I'm going to sell that most likely because it sells for a lot. For now, I don't really want to use armors and, and that yet. So we're going to hold on to this. Ammo. Ammo can go here. Where, where should I go next? What's going on? Is Tarkov having issues right now? Is anyone else having issues? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go woods because we've got Jaeger. The Jaeger quest. I deleted the 500k. It's gone. All right, the main things I want to ID, like, I don't want to sit here just IDing everything, but mags and guns, they, they're the ones that are going to cost you, like, in the heat of the moment. you got to quickly pick up a gun and you don't have it ID'd. So I'm going to quickly ID the guns and mags and the ammo. Don't care about that too much. Cool. Um, Check Barter so you know. I did just get enough for a car med kit. That's why I got the white the white uh tapes. The one thing I need to really focus on is which stuff I gotta get in the hideout. 
Is it fun and rewarding playing hardcore? It's definitely a challenge, and I, and I really do embrace the challenge. It makes me care about surviving, because in, in, in normal Tarkov, I don't really care if I survive or not. So we can actually get level one med station, but we can't do anything because we don't have, we won't have, um, we won't have, uh, oh, what's the wording? Generator. Fuel's going to be really annoying too. What do we need for lavatory? That should be a focus. TP. We had TP we could have got to. Lavatory should be a focus because you don't need a generator to craft in the lavatory. Medstation does give some regen. I need to, I need to hold on to the cash. If I die, I need to be able to heal. I suppose that level five that's not an issue. All right, um, let's get into the next raid. We've got ten rounds left on a pistol. Um Pastor Lee Wu, thanks for the fun content to consume. Nice dude. Alright, back in a minute. I gotta run an ad, I gotta go to the bathroom real quick. I'm back, sorry. Wasn't too long, was I? 30 seconds. All right. Um, if we want meds, right? If we want meds, the tactic is to go to the FOB thing. There is so many meds there. So what I'm thinking is I run along here. I'll check the hidden stash and I, I, I wrap around to the back. I call it the FOB. I don't know what it's actually called. What is the name everyone else gives to it? The, the thing over here. Emicom? Emicom station. All right. I call it FOB. I wonder if you guys started calling it FOB because I started calling it. All right, hidden stash. But that's what it is though. It's a forward operating base. We'll take the vodka in case we get thirsty, I guess. Can't take the vase. Right, we're gonna wrap around the back and check the. Uh, I could go right along the back. I never go right along the back, but we go right along the back and then we check the weapon carries. Some say fobs without spelling out the words like silly people. Some say fob without spelling out the words like silly people. You mean like fob? I think fob kind of sounds a bit. I don't know. Each to the right. It makes no difference. It means the same thing. Fob or FOB. It takes me about the same time to say it. Big. Thirty hydration, twenty energy. As soon as our hydration gets down to seventy, we'll uh, we'll be popping that. Thirty round mag and a laser. Imagine if we can get the gunsmith part eleven real quick. I 
I can get into Kiva every raid. If I could go Kiva every raid, this is going to be so GG. Laser doesn't fit on the 5 7, unfortunately. All right, there's a very high chance players will be here. I deliberately went the morning time. When there's a transition from night to day or day to night, a lot of people will avoid that time slot. So you can actually get slightly quieter servers. I deliberately went, went the tr transition time for that reason. Go on, get the rats. The rats. Spend that time. Oh, I see a mess kit. All right, sweet. Milk, you're being consumed. It is almost like the rat challenge, isn't it? Or challenge. It's too early for CPU fans. There'll be a scab spawning any second now. All right, we want good meds, so layers and stuff. High facts. This will be like the slowest and most methodical you'll ever see me play Tarkov. Oh, ibuprofen, big, big win there. armor on right, I want to grab that armor before uh my ears get over here oh holy shit I guess the word would be stonks. <laughs> the vase, the vase pestily. <laughs> I'm not going back for the vase. Oh, those croutons are going to be needed for a quest, aren't they? Was it soap or TP we needed? It was TP, wasn't it? Oh, Billy! 190 ammo. It's almost like it knows what we need. Examine the mag. I'm like, why isn't the mag coming off? I haven't examined it. S tier mag, uh, S tier ammo with an S tier gun. It's a layer two. Right. Moist. Thirty round mag and AK. True. Why well, you guys get paid the big bucks? Where did I put it down? Was it just here? There.
I can play Tio. Alright. We need to keep moving. There are some, um, there are some early cross rip stop, isn't there? We just can't use that. Laser doesn't go on the 47 gauss. I, I, I don't see how I can get that car battery. I, crackers I can get rid of, I guess. What's the, what's the craft with the crackers or what's the deal with the crackers? I can't remember why they're valuable. Drop vodka. MREs. Yeah, we need MREs. We can get rid of the CPU. We don't need that right now. You guys are all telling me to get rid of the vodka. I'm going to take your word for it. Let's go like that. All right. I just want to get this quest now. And then get out. Thank you. Fucking paranoid now. You know what I think we might do? We might say we complete this quest. What's the second Jaeger quest? It's the food one, right? So it's not like something we're going to complete straight away. And and it's not like we're going to be doing any of the barter trades from Jaeger straight away. So what we could do is we don't hand in the Jaeger quest until we're about to hit level 5 or we already hit level 5. Um, so if we die, we get the free heal from Therapist. It's not a big thing, but... I'm trying to avoid the camping entirely. And the Sniper Scav and all that area. I'm literally just heading straight for the Extract now. Thank for there's rain and fog. With low level perception, you can't hear as far too. So if someone's like running up to me, I'll probably not hear him. You can't use scabs, no. I generally don't like going down this far onto the slope because there's not as much cover as... I'm just trying to avoid anyone seeing me that's running through lumber mill. Oops, someone just died to a fucking landmine. All right, now give us a flash drive, please. I don't ask for much. Testily, I am watching with my seven-year-old son, Aaron. 
He yep. asked if you can try not to swear so much as it's bad. Okay. I'm I, I, I apologize. Uh, Owen? Don't swear. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I did just check my radar to make sure there was a uh, flash drive there. Thanks so much for the uh, 11 months. Uh, I just like cake. Is it Geeko? Thanks, S240. Thanks for the prime. Craig Gory. Thanks for the five months. Uh, mental schism. Schism. Thanks so much for the thousand bits before as well. Cake. I try not to swear too much. When I get excited, though. Don't put him in front of Slash, though. When I check that stash, dude, have you seen my loot? I'm like a pinata for the hardcore challenge. This is like a this is like a pinata of glory. We got a Salewa. All right, so let me think. We've got we've got the TP for the craft for the hideout craft. <laughs> Slush is S T swearing. <laughs> we should do a stream of swearing swearing key list. He would be S T. Look at me, I'm pimping. Hiding in the shadows, in the rain, in the low ground. That's why I went the night to day transition. I swear there's like so many less players on, on those ones. Um, right. A, a tier list Tuesday. We could do that. That actually sounds a bit fun. Every Tuesday we do a tier list. What do you guys think? Alright, so, um, battery we're holding on to because they're rough to get. Uh, condensed milk, I got them to vendor. Emilia's, we need, I, I, I can't remember exactly what we need for. Do, okay, let's be real. Let's be real. Let's just hand it in. Let's just hand it in and then we don't have to worry about it. Because now we have Jaeger and we can just. get back into Duckle. What's new? Uh, new quests, new stuff. I don't know, man. Uh, it's not as simple as just being like, what's new? New guns? All right. We'll hold on to this. We need it for a quest, but we can use it for healing as well. Like post-raid healing. We are now sitting at a point where we are geared enough to, um, we are geared enough that we, we... Sorry, I'm just talking to Deadly Sob. Deadly said that people might intentionally die so they can heal from therapists. Right, um, metal fuel 400k right now. Yeah, it doesn't really matter what the value of an item is in this challenge. So, all right, we'll hold on to that as well. Hold on to that. Um, put these here for now. The laser oh we can probably just sell. Food we're gonna hold on to because we're gonna we're gonna need food. You're gonna see times where I'm like, I wish I had some food. Pestily, microwave, pestily, microwave, pestily, microwave, pestily, microwave, pestily, microwave. Yes. Um, face mask we're going to need. That's the vendor. Yushanka is for quest. Uh, because it's pretty early on. So that's how, that's how 
items for this. Ammo. I think we don't need to take extra ammo. I think we can get a kill every raid with the uh, 20 rounds that we've got. And if we don't, we're probably going to be dead anyway. Now, um, what was I going to do? The hideout. Oh, these are open back headphones. Well, Digger, thanks for 10 months, mate. Eddie McBrambram, thanks for 200 bits. A few pennies to help you keep funding this obvious taco prompt. No, dude. All right. So, this is what we needed. This is what I wanted. So, from here, I think you can use Ripstop for something. Maybe it's the other way. You get Ripstop. Oh, there it is. You can make packers with it. Hmm. Hi. Oh, I could have got the metal scissors and then we could have made splints. That's all right. We get a, a fleece. We can make uh, two backpacks, which isn't too bad. That's actually not too bad right there. How are we sitting money-wise? Is it worth... Like, I'm just trying to think, like, at the end of raid, getting the, the healing. 10k is nothing. We can we can do that. All right. So, start with Ragman, because Ragman's going to be really frustrating to try and get the money spent. Jaeger will probably be a little bit annoying as well. What do we need to do that barter trade? So, um, I just want to do ammo guns just like before. Collect task. Which task? Isn't Ski level 5? We need to go... Oh, the task reward. Yep, yep. Um... Cool, we've got Ragman sorted there. All the guns here. Examine. Helen, thanks for the fire gifted, mate. Right, we'll get into another raid. <laughs> so... Uh, probably therapist needs their money spent. Moy. First there... day off in a month. No better way to spend the morning than coffee and pastely and a few cheeky scav runs. Um, cheers, dude. Thanks for 300 bits, Hoots. What's the, um, there is a barter trade for using Elionka. I'm, I'm confident it's not just, I'm confident it's not just, um, that all right let's take the backpack because if we vendor that we get like 4k we do the backpack trade i reckon we'll go up more than 4k we went up 6k and then we can sell the backpack but we can actually use it too is it bigger same in it no uh, technically it's smaller can't fit a gun in there though we've got it there as we need it all right and then for now, we'll sell this to Mechanic. Vents. Let's construct it. We'll slowly get through these. I don't want to do that one just yet because I want the ones that give um, the other stuff. So we need 4K for that. Right. Probably don't need this backpack actually. Now that we've got that. Hello, boss man. Smile. Which map? Which map? I think I know which map I want to go. You can repair, yeah. Let's 
what's going on, uh, Inferno? Ignored? You fucking literally just subbed, bro. Just chill. <laughs> just because you're my boss doesn't mean you can tell me what to do. All right? Sit down. Wait your turn. Um, I think I know which map I want to go. I think I know which one. Good one. Such a dad joker, hey? Any fruit? I have sultanas. Oh, this is like a really good spawn if you want to do a normal loot run. It might not be so much for uh, a hardcore, but imagine we find. Oh my god, say. Imagine we find a graphics card. We're fucked. There is going to be. Some zooming dude come from the middle of nowhere to try and kill me right now. My friend's kiddoing loves when you swear. Does he? My mum used to make me like wash my mouth out with soap. She caught me swearing. was the uh, Dan Giesling sip. chat you get me killed because you guys are so loud i'm fine I'm, i'll remember it Hardcore moist. I heard a foot on metal.
We don't have enough XP yet. We need to get the seven minutes. We're at five minutes 40. XP matters because we need to found in raid graphics cards. You definitely have enough XP. How do you know? All right, one minute. Control on the truck. You can't get the whole way in though. Yeah, I had 200 looting XP. I think you got to have 200, 200 XP now. 220 XP. You rat. If that that duo was geared, you heard them. They were using. Uh, I think they were using MP7s or M MP uh, or, or vectors. They were charging through that bottom bit. That would have been a, a, a rough, a rough uh, fight to try and save that graphics card. They did sound heavy, yeah. They were like the juggernauts just charging through. I, I was I was so afraid that the uh, they heard the um, toolbox close. When that when that toolbox closed, I'm like I'm dead. <laughs> All right, we don't need keg tape anytime soon. All the fire clean, so we'll probably sell them. Um, graphics card we're going to hold on to. That was stressful. Stressful. Um, you know what? We might hold on to the fire clean because it might be a little bit difficult later on to find. Because they have to go, it, like labs is the main place to find fire clean. Motors we need for uh, hideout upgrades. Alkali, we don't need any any early. Um, it's not really too difficult to get cigarette packets, but we'll hold on to them for now. Keep our drink. <laughs> Toothpaste we can sell. Aramid we'll hold on to. It's raining as well. So what do you want to do? Should we go somewhere like Interchange now? I'm trying to think. I'm trying to mix it up too. I don't want to just do the same map over and over again. Keck for 60 rounders. Oh, true, true. In exchange for customs, customs will just be death. There is no point going customs yet. Like when we have the two shotguns, then we'll go customs. What about like how? Are we, how what's the best place to get these salawas? I think woods is the best place to get salawas. Woods or um. Hmm. Woods again. Moist. Reserve mid building is only good if... Oh, it's not only good if you got the keys, but it's a lot better if you got the keys. 
Cross the laywers. Uh, I need fuel. So that's interchange. If I'm going to go to interchange, I need to take a backpack. I could do... And I know this sounds ridiculous. I could go interchange and do a PC loot run just to sell the PC parts for money. All right. Wait, hang on a minute. What do we need to get for these shotguns? So, okay. Elite pliers and screwdrivers. So what if I started focusing on getting elite pliers and screwdrivers, right? Um... We and we start trying to progress through the uh through the quest chain. Goddamn elite pliers. <laughs> you can get elite pliers if we get all the other pliers. Level five just unlocks skier, which is factory. I don't know. I don't know if I want to go factory. We left the pair of elite pliers on right too. No, we didn't. That were different pliers. Remember to use the notepad. True. Um. So you're gonna start off the snowball challenge. Um, I might. At the moment, I just, I just feel like playing just normal hardcore. Maybe like tomorrow, I'll start the day with the, uh, the snowball. Are you allowed to claim the New Year's gift and sell that stuff? Nah, nah. You start with nothing in hardcore. Look, the very first raid, I didn't even take in a melee weapon. Was this definitely the safest? I think so. There's so many places to get meds now. It's also... A, honestly, I have a lot more fun on woods these days. I'm mostly just like... I'm not wasting time here. I'm just just taking time to think. Um, Alright. If we go woods, I think that... I think... I can't think of any other map that would work better. Ah... Uh, or shoreline, wood shoreline, or interchange. Sorry, reserve your map because you want to go shoreline and reserve to get keys. Because whilst it's nice to have these keys right now, imagine if we had like an orb key right now, and then every single time we go to reserve, we go to the orb room and get an AK. Like it's like a guaranteed AK every raid. But right now we don't have any consistent way of getting guns. There's ever stashes, which you know you can get them pretty often, but. All right, let's go. You should draw chat. You can add to my fog for the Twitch contract. Uh, Doug Harlow, thanks for the prime. Oh my God, it's raining. Which way do I want to go? I'm pretty sure I need to go that way, right? That way? What? You can't hear me. Really? I'm scared. That's death. There's water there. I'm pretty sure the water's safe. Yeah, that's the tower. All right, I know where I am.
Alright, alright, alright. Do I need batteries for anything? Two AA and one D battery. Righto. Boom, safe key goes to nothing. We need to go back to the USEC stash now. Busy kinds of things for eight months, mate. I hate, I hate, I hate Peter Pan. Uh, uh, when it's when it's really loud rain like this, it's it's like so hard to like even think. It's cozy. It does let, allow you to run around a lot more without having to worry about people hearing you as easy. Now, people are usually here by now. Is the trooper here? The trooper's normally right here. We need them for a quest. I can't see me getting the mount for that. Okay, just had a wash. Better? He's happy. Alright, we need to go to the other one now. Long time, good time, long time, good time, oh yes, oh yes. Hey, you had a wash? Yeah. She wants a treat. <laughs> she gets a wash and we normally give her treats after it. Oh, this is bullshit. She's putting her head underneath my arm and shoving my arm up. Show me attention. Do we, how much do we need these early on? Oh, I need that screwdriver. Hmm. 
I don't think we need the sugar at all, do we? It's really useless to us. Where did he come from? Holy crap! Oh my god! I told you the rain makes it so you can't even hear people. I hit him once. Oh, I must have hit him low. Damn. Love you, pesty Westy. I don't want. I don't want to play on an outdoor mat while it's raining that much. It, I honestly, I have my volume really loud. I can't hear anything. Damn, that sucks though. That really sucks. He wasn't overly geared either. Uh, we we uh can heal on death, right? And it costs us nothing because it's before level five. Right. All right, back to back to uh, what gun do we use? Really? You need headsets. You need a helmet when it's raining. Hi guys, welcome to my stream. And without further ado, uh, do thanks so much for the rain. Uh, the uh, rate. Hope you had a great stream. My turn racing. Uh, Frager two two four. Thanks for three hundred bits. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Why didn't you kill him, Cotton Eye Joe? I don't know, man. Strength IRL. He scared the shit out of me. Because I, like, I was listening so intently. Moist. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Why did he kill you? Cotton Eye Joe. All right. Let's go. Let's go. We have to restart. We have to rebuild. I don't want to go outside, but Shoreline's our best bet for getting, like, stashes and stuff done. Hmm. Did you ever get a reward for using the PMC scav extract? Yes, we did. It was it, it gave rep and also um, some really shitty items. So, Moist. um, Joey Chitwood, thanks for the tier two for fifteen months as well, man. Legend. All right, so we've got this gun. It, it's gonna rack. I want to go inside. I could go reserve. We could go reserve and camp somewhere and see if a player comes past us and we just destroy him. <clears throat> <clears throat> um, what else? What are our other options? Factory is no good because we don't have a factory key. I really want to get some keys and reserve and and in it, uh, reserve and uh, shoreline are your best places for keys. Customs isn't too bad, but if you get a bad spawn, it's gonna be rough. And it's outside. We don't want to go outside. Let's go. More. I'm really, looking for new really struggling. Headphones. Um, then, then buy some. Um, uh, all right. Let's go. Let's go. Also, I um, I'll run another set of ads. I'm trying to get on top of uh, the ads. We we're well behind when we're doing the S to S to uh F tier list. So um. If you get that guys go do it for the Twitch contract. Hey, my dude, Pistol, you look stressed. Are you okay? This is just my face, bro. Mr. Jerron, thanks for the 15 months. El Donko, thanks for the three months. Pestily moist, pestily moist, pestily moist. How long do we wait? Pestily, bestily, just kills all the rest of me. Forty minutes. As long as we need to. Moist. 
Roxanne would be so proud of you, like father like son Wu cry. Primarily, I'd like to check all the jackets. That would be the dream. Bunker see if there's a scrap down there I can kill for some more gear. Oh, so much quieter and more enjoyable. gun need some keys. being close we didn't try he got me yeah i didn't hit him once wow well i have to start paying for my heels now i didn't find a lot of success with um with reserve last time i did the hardcore That was free. It was probably free when I started it. It's not free to level 10. It's free to level 5. I might... I don't know. Man, that's two deaths in a row. It's rough. These things happen. Alright, what do we got gun-wise? I still want to take guns while we got them. 
Um... Say that. Mm, let's go. All right. All right. Swamp's not a bad place to start. Um, gives us the option we can push into the swamp and do the, uh, the hidden stashes over there and then go across to the actual village. Which is the option we're going to take. There's also a scav that spawns to the left. We could actually go left. Fucking rain. What? Can you guys actually hear me? Like, I don't need to change my audio settings. You guys can still actually hear me. All right, I'll try my best to talk directly into the microphone at all times. So there's two scan spawns up here. We'll try and take advantage of that. The enormous is right here. And then the other one's the, uh, the truck just up ahead. It's on the outside of the mound here. There's two. Ah! No rear sight either. That's not helpful. <laughs> Far out. That was missing a part of the rear sight, right? I did hit him twice. Well, rough start. Rough start. Well, not really. Like, we've got a ba three bad raids in a row. We just need to get that, uh, we just need to get that rhythm happening. Is your microphone still quiet? Shouldn't be. It's not a bad start at all, though. We have had a lot of success. I think... I'm just thinking maybe we go something like interchange. We're, we're down to our last gun. This is this is where it's going to be a little bit... A little bit sketch. Um, so I'm going to put... I'm going to actually gear up for this one. And just... We have to we have to double down kind of thing. And, and try and take, make the most of it. So... Um, the objective here will be... We'll go in... And um, I want to play slow and try and I want to scavenge if possible. Can't use a scav on hardcore. No, no. If we lose this one, then we got to go back to uh, got to go back to um, mellow. 